terrifying. I mean, we saw, like, Yoshi presses buttons, and John was able to stop that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a right. button check. Uh, not necessarily. Be. What? Oh, this is Battlefield Fountain Drinks. Yeah. Okay. This is, okay. You kind of scared me just now. Did uh, they gentlemen here? Yeah, this, this probably. Is me they just both know. They, they're just like, this stage is gorgeous. I'm going to go here. It is a really nice looking yeah. stage. Okay. Okay. Now, you can see this match going exactly how I would have thought. Venya kind of being all on John's uh, <laughs> behind. And John being comfortable with just uh, having his back to the ledge. We're going to see a lot of that. Because we Fit is a lot better. Buttons are a lot better. But... Uh, we're still talking about Greninja here. Greninja buttons are, are very different. Mm -hmm. Greninja buttons are in a league of, uh, of his own. So John's kind of going to have to stuff out options. Bro, you can't do that. That's actually something that uh, Venia has done a lot versus John in this game now. Yes. Where he'll just, he's like, yeah, they made my counter useful. I'm yeah. going to kill you with it now. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> like, It kind of looks really cool. It, so. it does. It looks, <laughs> it looks amazing. When it's not happening to you. When you're not on the receiving end. <laughs> when it's not happening to you, the move is awesome. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> it's like, oh, I love Greninja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then when you're the one getting split, oh, my gosh, I hate Greninja. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. And that was really good. You, and as you can see, for those who don't know, when Greninja activates the counter, he can input a direction, and that's the direction he'll come from to initiate the attack. Yeah, and, and in that last counter, he kind of di did diagonal down and forward and forced peace. John to go off stage. Yeah, and the counter has like an AOE where like it, it, it'll position like it'll position that the center of the circle where he's appearing is over the over the person hitting uh -huh. him. But it, it's still an AOE, so like he doesn't he won't like teleport like across the stage. He still has to like be somewhat close to you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, Benny just not letting John off the ledge. Yes. You know. And although John is <gasps> although John is very comfortable here, as we've said, uh, he's taking a lot of damage being there. He knew. Okay, down smash not going to do it though. Weak hit of the down smash. 140 sitting on John numbers though on his second stop. Up throw not going to kill yet. Yeah, forward yeah. throw. Yeah, forward throw got a lot stronger in this game. And he might have been DI'ing for the up throw, too, so that kind of helped him out a little bit. Nonetheless, okay, putting on a little bit of damage here, 65%. Uh, ben is probably going to take this stock first, but if John could get him to about 90 to 100% yeah. before he loses his stock, yeah, uh, like he's not in a bad he, position. If he puts him in a comfortable stock where he can pick up right where he left off, yes. it can definitely he can definitely be right back in this. And like the, just the fact that he's still alive oh at 160 just shows that like he's beginning to make himself slippery enough where he's not over committing but he's dead from that no Ooh, battlefield DI. let's go battlefield but not nah. see yeah, what are you doing numbers good. why are you spawning stupid projectiles like that <laughs> yeah. all right you think you're gonna air stall he's a frog he jumps yeah. so fast he's gonna get right up to you what are you doing Ooh, Ooh. gonna tech that i'm actually surprised he was able to take that that move has some pretty good knockback yeah i think it's just because uh she actually has She's at no percent, so uh, while Rage oh, isn't as much of a thing in, uh, as it was in Smash 4, it still is a thing. Yeah. So her being at zero can actually make a difference. I'd say, like, now it would be untechable if you were in that situation. Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay, this is not looking good for John. Yeah, All right. It. You know what? Bro. I respect that. That Numbers put that in his pocket because him spawning that ball like a dummy and dying for it, he went, okay, he is going to come for me. And yeah. He's like, he might think I'm a dummy, which, you know, I am, but uh, <laughs> like this time I'm going to get him. Or I was, but I'm <laughs> yeah, not I was, a he super evolved. dummy. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've evolved from a dummy. And I respect Venia, like, try, just seeing the field go for the option again, because it's yep. like, if he does, free damage. And honestly, like, that situation wasn't too risky. Yes, he died, but, uh, like, he, he had enough of a lead where it didn't matter too much. But on the other hand, these percentages are uh, have evened up really yeah, quickly. John. Oh, bye. Come on, John. At least let me say it first, man. I'm going to say it anyways. John kind of chipping away at that lead. Like, Venya was kind of scared. And in that second stock, when Venya allowed John to uh, even the stocks or get a lot of percentage on him before he was able to take it, Venya was kind of mad. He, he knew that he kind of missed an opportunity, and he put John back in the game. So, um... 
You can see him kind of taking control of the match after that and not allowing John to fully make the comeback, which is good on his behalf. But I'd like to see John take some of that momentum, man. That was a lot of momentum that he uh, mm -hmm. he built in that last stop. Definitely. We're going to PS2, though. Yeah, so uh, Venia got rid of Lila and Yoshi Story. Uh, yeah, all right. So going to PS2. So this is a wide stage. This is a very wide stage, which can be pretty good for Wii Fit just because, like, Numbers is going to want as much space as he can. Yeah. You know, as a part of his runaway game. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, if he can... Anytime he uh, gets into a precarious situation, he can just literally move the goalpost. But because... <laughs> but because Venya and Greninja are so fast... Yes. You can just stay on them. He's like, I don't care how big the stage is. I'll do the 100-meter dash. <laughs> I'm on you. For sure. Now, my outburst was because of that pivot grab yeah. that Venya just did. Yeah. He got yoked up from, like, <laughs> I want it, – it was pretty far. It was way too far for me to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's a bad touch. The right. frame trap. Take the up air or take this uh, shadow sneak. Mm -hmm. Pick your poison. And he probably would have died to the up air anyways. I mean, what he could have done in that situation was that if he went, uh, did the air dodge, was air dodge in. Yeah. And then if, if he ended up eating a hit for that, he might not have died. But yeah. he ended up in a situation where he kept holding out because Numbers wants to be off stage. He wants to recover to the ledge. But that ended up being his uh, downfall for that stock. And, uh, yeah, so Venny is just, like, putting on a lot of pressure and a lot of damage along with it. <laughs> Only taking 60 damage. did it again. Mm. And that's the thing Stop. about. You know what? I respect it. Keep going for it. Like, if he's going to put himself in the situation where he can get hit by it, like, the more you do it and, like, the more he starts to avoid it, he's conditioning him for that position over and over again. Yep. And eventually, he's going to be in a position where he's like, oh, you thought I was going to do that again? Uh-huh. No. No, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm going really to take condition. your last stock. All right, we flying. Uh -oh. Woo, wow. All right. Just able to avoid it. Finn kind of kicking himself there because he knows he probably should have had a stock there. Oh, going to put him right back off stage, though. 140. And back here, going to do it. Back and that's, and so that's the thing. When, yeah. If yeah. you can under, not only understand what your opponent's play style or game plan is, but punish them for playing that play style mm -hmm. and going for that game plan, like, you completely have his number. Venya understands that John is comfortable off stage, and he's going to try and optimize his time off stage. So what Venya's doing, he's killing him off stage. Every time uh, John Numbers wants to do though his little shenanigans off the stage, Venya's in his face. He's making him pay for all his bad options, whether it's a soccer ball, whether it's a um, deep breathing, whether it's an aerial where he's not supposed to be throwing out an aerial. He's making him pay for all of them. So that's why Venya has this lead right now. Really nice to watch. Okay, John just gonna let him get back to the middle of the stage for free. Okay, gonna put him on that platform. Neutral tech into shield. So gonna get him out of trouble. Then it is at a percent where if Numbers plays his cards right, he can like end a, like an earlyish stock. Oh, oh, ooh, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, that is it. Wow. I don't. That counter is so good. Why? Why is no one complaining about this on Twitter? <laughs> Because it's just so sick. <laughs> oh, that my again. gosh. Because Venya's the only person that does this, and Venya goes to two majors every six years. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, He actually went to two majors this year. Yeah, uh, he did. I'm, I'm so proud of him. We went to SmashCon. Yo, first of all, pour one out for Venya for, at SmashCon. I watched his set with Salem. Yeah, it was I game heard. three. I was sitting right behind him. I was he so had upset. like.